Hey guys, Ozzy Safa here. Back to making more flight sim related content, more travel videos, more underwater videos, and flight sim related live streams. I've been away for a while, had a few health issues going on. But recently, the other day, I was on Facebook, I come across this advert for a mini FCU made by a mini cockpit. So they're making a, camp a campaign on Kickstarter on May the 31st. We've got 20 days here, we've got a little countdown going. So the Kickstarter campaign starts at 12 Eastern, 12 um, in the afternoon Eastern time, which is 5 p.m. UK time. So as I was scrolling down, the first thing out of the bat that I noticed that the, um, it's pretty close in size in comparison to the real FCU in the, in the Airbus. Now, one thing I've noticed is that there's bright spots in the LEDs, but I'm just being picky. Like this is really for the price. You cannot complain at all. So the, the real Airbus has like a less of a bright spot. It's just a uniform throughout the whole way. But the LED panels itself, the lights on the LED panels are pretty much one to one as close as, close as you can get to it. They've even incorporated push and pull knobs. So like when you push this knob to manage the speed, um, you've got your localizer button, your auto throttle, your AP1, AP2. It says here we've got 32 surgical precision clicks. So I'm not sure if that's 32 clicks in one revolution or if it's just 32 clicks and then there's a hard stop and you can't turn anymore. That's, that's something I'll be waiting to test out. You've got the backlit panel, as I mentioned, it's pretty damn close. I wonder if you can adjust the brightness because say if you want to do a night flight, you don't want those lights to be a bit distracting. So we'll see if that can be adjusted. You've got your one assignable button. You've got your expedited button, flight director buttons, these functions, which will help you. Like when you're in the sim, you if you don't have any eye tracker or anything like that, you have to use your hat switch or your mouse to scroll to your FCU and it can be distracting, especially if you're doing an instrument approach and an air traffic controller telling you to adjust up and down your altitude and your speed or your head in. It can be a bit annoying. I like here where we've got um, someone that's taken this onto a plane, one of the uh, mini cockpit team, and they put it on top of a gaming laptop. There's it, here's 80% um, size to the real thing. And it's USB powered, so you don't need an external power to plug in against the wall, you can take it anywhere you go, which is nice. I like the idea of this. This is playing flight sim in a in a plane. That's that would give you a realistic feel, wouldn't it? And uh, now the price is something I want to mention. Oh wait, before we talk about the price, we've got future expansions, which is something I love to see. We've got the mini Aphis coming out on the left, and the mini came on the right. No mention of when they're coming up, but they're working on bringing out expansion and modules. And there's some sort of mount here we can see where they've placed the FCU on. Now, one thing I had in my mind, what I would like is like some sort of bracket that hangs at the back of your monitor. So it hangs from the top and then at your bottom part of the, the monitor is, is suspended. So it's like an extension to your monitor underneath, hanging underneath it. So it just makes everything look more tidy if you've got a monitor quite high up on a stand and it'll be more, you can, Put your monitor as high as you want and then you've got that your EFIS there like how high it would be in in the aircraft um, if you need me to explain it if you're watching a mini cockpit I, I would love to draw this out for you because i have I have this idea and it it'll make this it'll make your setups look a lot more neater um so yeah i can't wait for those to come out and for the price if you want this whole panel on i've seen these other um, home sim hardware setups um, some other companies have this for like over $1,200. Now, the Mini FCU itself has a, an MSRP of $249, but if you get in early in the Kickstarter campaign, you get it as low as $99, which is an absolute steal. You cannot complain about that. And I'm sure the uh, two additional modules will be around that same price as well. So you're actually getting it such a, such a low price for what it is. And I can't wait to feel how tactile they are. I want to know if you can use the AP1 and APU buttons at the same time because the AP1 is used from the captain, the AP2 is usually used by the first officer. But for redundancy, when you're doing an, an instrument approach, you will have them both on in case one of them fails. So I, I would like to see if you can actually use, I think that's got to do with the sim itself that you're using and not just this. So, yep. Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, um, make a purchase of this, Right now you can only sign up to, for updates and they will give you emailed updates when it comes out on Kickstarter. But we've got the countdown, we know what day it's going to come out. But if you want to be emailed that, you just put your um, email address, 
you just um, put your email in, first name, last name. And one thing I wanted to ask you guys to do, just give them a follow on Instagram because I think they're a pretty new company. Um, I have followed them, but I'm not logged in on my... <laughs> but give them a follow and we'll see what other posts they make in the future. You get updates on their social media as well. Now I'm hoping to get hold of this. Um, I'm not sure if um, my channel is big enough for me to get sent one, but I'll be trying to back it on Kickstarter's I'll be trying to get in there first and try to give you a first impressions video and a review. But if they're generous enough, mini cockpit, I'm, I'm here. Please send me one. I would love to be one of the first to get the content out about this. So everyone, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for future related content. And hopefully you see me review this in the future. Thank you.